Okay, we're here with Deb Buecher. She's a, an associate professor of nursing at Parkland College. Okay, tell me about where the L, the other version was the LPN program, and which version are you now? Yes, I teach in the um, RN program, and the students will um, receive their RN degree with the associate's degree um, in nursing when they do graduate from uh, the Parkland College nursing program. And uh, they do have an option of either going uh, two years, uh, you, know, you, can, you know, students can come straight out of high school and go two years straight and have their um, RN um, in, in just that short amount of time. Or what a, a lot of people do, I'd say the majority of students will take their prerequis prerequisite courses prior to entering into the nursing program to make their lives a little bit more manageable. Um, and then that way all, all they really need to focus on then for the after the first year of getting their prerequisites out of the way, is just focusing totally on the RN nursing program. So all their close classes will be devoted to nursing then, so. Okay, um, when they start this, I know there's a lot of simulation labs. Kind of tell me what their day's coursework is like when they're yeah, here. Yeah, so, so some classes, um, you know, we, we do a variety of different, different things to help teach the students how to become nurses. And of course, the one part is, is the theory, you know, the lecture part, you know, where the students will meet. Usually it's once a week the students will meet in um, a class and uh, they, they will be, have a lecture. Some people, depending on what nursing class that they're taking, will be in a nursing lab. And this is the nursing lab that we have here. We have another one. And then we also have another lab, which is H-Wing, uh, this just is off of Mattis, that here, here they're working with mannequins, and we call this low-fidelity simulation. But at H-Wing, they actually get to go and take care of mannequins who can do pretty much um, anything that we want them to do. They can, you know, t we, we can talk for them. Um, we, they can listen to their heart, they can listen to their bowel sounds, they can feel for pulses, um, and that's, really, uh, that, that's a really good way to, to learn. You know, they're really diving in and helping to take care of that patient. And uh, you know, it's, it's, we always tell them, you know, try to think of, the, of yourself that you're in the patient's room at the hospital and, and you know, you're giving care to this patient. And it's just, just another different way of learning. But it's a really good way of learning too though because if a, if a student would maybe make a mistake or come close to making a mistake, it, that's like a really good learning opportunity for um, everyone involved. They didn't cause harm because we're in the simulation lab, but yet they can take that mistake and they can turn that around. And, and then also when they go to the clinical and taking care of you know, real patients, then they, they will not make that, that same error or same mistake. So, Simulation is a great place to, you know, to learn. Yeah, um, and I've been in the simulation labs. Sometimes it kind of feels like it's real, and I'm sure it does to the students too, because I mean, there's a voice talking out of a patient, and you give them problems, and you can be a difficult patient sometimes. Oh, oh yeah, we, we, do have a, we, we do have some difficult patients, which is really cool because the students learn how to manage you know, those type of patients. Um, and, and something else too, that when they're, when they're in simulation, um, they also can practice and, and hone in and make better their critical thinking skills because as a nurse, you're, you're always thinking about what maybe is the next thing that's going to happen. And, and I always tell my students, you know, you always want to expect the unexpected because it will definitely happen. Um, but, but nursing is just a, a really great field to go into because um, if you're a, you know, want to help take care of patients and you're a service-oriented people person, um, the nursing is a great area for you to go into. Okay, like in the life of a nurse, you don't know what's coming next. You may not know which hours you're working next week. Yeah, Can you kind of talk yeah. about that? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it, depending on where you're working, you know, some areas have like, you know, your schedule set for a month, and then other areas, um, you know, they may not even know, they know whether they're really maybe even working that next day, depending on the numbers of patients that are coming through you know, to have different procedures done, that sort of thing. So, yeah, so some, some of it's very set and some of it's not very set. So, so you know, nurses have to be really flexible um, when they're going about and doing their uh, different tasks. And, yeah, you can have a, you know, you, you can get to report on your patients if you're working in the hospital and you think it's going to go A, B, C, D. First patient you walk into, there's an issue, and it just kind of turns your day all the way around, and you just have to change your focus. And you've got to be able to act, you know, quickly and on your feet and again, and again, that's where the, your critical thinking skills really come into play because things can change uh, so quickly, you know, when you're taking care of a, a, of a real life patient. When people think nurses, they may just think hospitals, but you oh. place nurses in a lot of different places, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. That, and that's the great thing about being a nurse is there's so many different areas. So hospital nursing that I've talked about, um, you know, nurses can work in a clinic. 
Nurses can be a forensic nurse. Nurses can do travel nursing. Um, nurses can work in uh, prisons or jails. Uh, you, know, they, you can work for insurance companies. You can be a nurse consultant. You can start your own business um, as a nurse, you know, maybe doing um, home care. Um, so there's home care, there's hospice. Um, yeah, so there's just endless opportunities, you know, for nurses. You, you can teach like I do. I um, teach here at Parkland, but um, I also uh, work in home care as well. So, um, so yeah, so there's just, it, that's the really nice thing about nursing is if you get tired of one area that you're doing, there's 60 other er different areas that you can go into. So, um, yeah, and, you know, it's very challenging. Being a nurse is very challenging, but... I would say it's, it's extremely re rewarding. Um, and I know as a nurse in my nursing career, um, I know I've helped out a lot of people, um, but I have received so much more back from patients uh, that you, you, know, you just can't even imagine. Awesome. And then one, another really good thing about this, um, your starting salary is pretty good? Oh yeah, starting salary is, is I, I would say, very good. So I'd say start, starting salary in the... Um, area is probably anywhere from maybe $24 to $26 an hour, um, you know, $50,000, $60,000 a year. Um, and, and, you know, most places you can, you, you know, you, if you stay someplace very long, you can really build yourself up. And, um, you know, it's, 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 not, it's not a bad, bad career. Um, you can do pretty well for yourself as a nurse. And I'm guessing this is like every other health profession program at Parkland, but you have a real good job placement rate and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I would say most of our students that we have here at Parkland um, go, do go on and stay here in the community. The community has supported um, and loves, you know, our, our Parkland nursing graduates. I would say job placement is 100%. Um, and, and like I said, not everybody will stay here, um, but everybody can find a job someplace. And, and, and again, certainly with the pandemic, um, you know, we, we really are seeing an increase in the need for more nurses. So it's never a problem to, to get a job, whether it's here or in another state. There's just so many different places and so many opportunities, you know, for these students to, to be able to find jobs. So yeah, so it's so really easy to, to, to get a job in nursing. Do many students move on after they get done with nursing here and go to four-year school? Or yeah, school? yeah. You know, um, I would say probably, I don't know what, what the percent is, but I, but I would say upwards of 95%, if not more, um, will go on and uh, get their bachelor's degree. And what's really nice is you can go to Parkland and get your RN degree in two years or three years, and then you can go work at a hospital, say Carl or OSF in Urbana, but you can go work there and, and uh, that institution will help pay for your education to get your bachelor's degree. And actually, if you want to go on and get your master's degree, um, uh, the facilities will also pay for you to go on and get your master's degree as well. When you go out and you see your students in the field or you run into students, oh, yeah. what's that like to know how well they've done? Oh man, I tell you what, I, I am just so proud of our nursing students and it's, it's just an honor to, it really, it really is an honor to watch them and to, and to see them as students here and then to go on and see them actually working as nurses in the, in the hospital and actually, you know, taking care of, you know, uh, some of your own family members. And it's, it's just such a good feeling to see them doing so well and being so successful as a nurse and see them enjoying it and thriving and growing. Um, it's just, I, you know, it's, it's almost uh, hard to put into words, you know, how, how I feel and, how, you know, how we feel as a faculty when, when we see our students you know, um, out there working as nurses, they just do an excellent job. And it's just really heartwarming, you know, to, to see them doing so well.